Hi student, welcome to the Maths Paradise YouTube video channel. We present this video to improve your mathematical knowledge. Because of the present situation of the world, we have to stay at home. But we can't forget our lessons. So stay with us and continue our lessons. Hey my dear student, today we start the lesson in this in the previous grades, you learn how to write indices with numerical values. For example, let's see, 2 to the power 1 equal to, then 3 to the power 2 equal 3 into 3 or we can say 3 is repeatedly multiplied 2 times. And 4 to the power 3, it equals 4 into 4 into 4. And also you learned how to write powers with algebraic symbols also. For example, x to the power 2 equal x into x, y to the power 3 equal y into y into y. And also you know how to write this type of 1. For example, 1, 2 to the power 2, a to the power 3 b you can expand it 2 into 2 into a into a into a into b okay for the second one you can expand this 5 to the power 3 x y to the power 2 you can expand it 5 into 5 into 5 into x into y into y okay can you remember this? Yes. Already you know what is this. Power of product and product of power. What is power product here? Yes. A, B, C to the power 2. This is power of product. You can convert it into product of powers like this. Okay, let's do some exercise. First one you have to evaluate 3 to the power 4. How you can write 3 to the power 4? 3 repeatedly multiply 4 times. That means 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. That's equal 81. Second one negative 5 repeatedly multiply 3 times that is negative 5 to the power 3 so you can write it negative 5 into negative 5 into negative 5 what's the value when negative 5 multiply by negative 5 it gives the value positive 25 but when positive 25 multiply by negative 5 it gives the value negative 125 then third one 3 over 5 to the power 2 then you have repeated it multiply 3 over 5 2 times 3 over 5 into 3 over 5 then you can get the answer by multiplying numerator first then it gives the answer 3 into 3 gives 9 then denominator 5 into 5 give 25. Then second question. You have to write as product of powers. Write as product of powers. First one. 2xy to the power 2. You know it is power of product. You can write it as product of powers. 2 to the power 2. x to the power 2 y to the power 2. Then second one a b to the power 3. But there's a bracket and power 3 then all terms within the bracket have power 3 so now you can write it as a product of powers like a to the power 3 b to the power 3. Then the third question you have to write as power of product first one 25 
p to the power 2 25 you can write 25 as power of 2 what's that value yes that's 5 to the power 2 then you can write it as 5 to the power 2 p to the power 2 then the answer is 5 p to the power 2 then the next one 8 m to the power 3 n to the power 3 n and 3 have both of them have power 3 then can you write 8 as power of 3 yes 8 is 2 to the power 3 then you can write 2 to the power 3 m to the power 3 n to the power 3 then you can get the answer 2 m n to the power 3 okay Okay student, now we start the important part of this lesson. Product of powers with the same base. Product of powers with the same base. Let's see an example. 2 to the power 2 and 2 to the power 3. Both of them have same base. 2 to the power 2 and 2 to the power 3. We have to get the product of these two numbers. 2 to the power 2 multiplied by 2 to the power 3. Okay. We have to get the answer of this one. When we expand 2 to the power 2, we can get 2 into 2. 2 into 2 means 2 is repeatedly multiplied 2 times. 2 to the power 3 means 2 into 2 into 2. Here, 2 is repeatedly multiplied 3 times. So when we get the product of 2 to the power 2 and 2 to the power 3, we have to write 2 to the power 2 as 2 into 2. Multiply 2 to the power 3 as 2 into 2 into 2. Now there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 2's are there. That means 2 is repeatedly multiplied 5 times. So the answer is 2 to the power 5. Now you can see that the value here is 2 and 3. When 2 is repeatedly multiplied 5 times, it gives the answer 2 to the power 5. It can obtain by 2 plus 3. What is this 2 plus 3? 2 plus 3 is the index of 2 and index of this power. 2 to the power 2, this index is 2. 2 to the power 3, this index is 3. So when we add this 2, we can get the answer 5. So, 2 to the power 2 into 2 to the power 3 equal the answer 2 to the power 5. The rule we obtain here is we can add these two indices. It is important to remember that we can use this law if only two numbers have the same base like this. For example, 3 to the power 5 into 3 to the power 2. As these two powers have the same base, we can use this law. 3 to the power 5 plus 2. 
for the answer is 3 to the power 7. Now we can get it as a log. We think that the base is A, the power is M. I have to multiply it. Base A, the index M. Okay. Then the answer A to the power M plus M. For another example, x to the power 5 into x to the power 2. Same base, so we can add two indices. We can add two index and we can get the answer x to the power 7. already you have done your exercise. Let's check your answers. 5 to the power 2 into 5 to the power 7. Indices of 5 to the power 2 plus 7. According to the law, we obtain 2 plus 7. 5 to the power 9. The answer is 5 to the power 9. Then the same base y. Then we can write y to the power 3 plus 5. Then the answer y to the power 8. Then there are numerical values also 4 and 5. It's not difficult. So we can write 4 into 5 to the power 3 into 5 into p to the power 5. Now we can multiply these two numerical values 4 and 5. When we multiply 4 and 5 we can obtain 20. 20 into p to the power 3 into p to the power 5. Then you can write 20 p to the power 3 plus 5. And the answer is 20 p to the power 8. And the next one, there are three numbers, 2, 3 and 5. 2 into x to the power 2. 3 into y to the power 2. x into x to the power 3. 5 into y to the power 5. Then we can, first we can get these numerical values 2 into 3 into 5. Then we can obtain same bases. What are the powers have which have same bases? What are the same bases here? x x y y. Then x to the power 2 into x to the power 3. Then we can write y to the power 2 into y to the power 5. Now you can get the answer. 2 into 3, 6. 6 into 5, 30. Into x. 2, x to the power 2 and x to the power 3. 2 plus 3. Then y. 2 plus 5. 
then the answer 30 x to the power 5 y to the power 2 plus 5 7. Okay, now we are going to the next part of our lesson. Quotients of powers with the same base. Quotients of powers with the same base. Okay, let's see x to the power 5 divided by x to the power 2. Also we can write this x to the power 5 over x to the power 2. When we expand x to the power 5 it gives x into x into x into x into x over x into x. As you know we can cut the same values of the denominator and numerator. So we can cut x to x, x to x. Then it gives the answer x to the power 3. So how we can get the value 3? Now already you know as you learned in the product of powers how you can get the value 3. We can subtract 2 from 5. Then it gives x to the power 3. What is this 5 and what is this 2? 5 comes as the index of the dividend. 2 comes as the index of the divisor. When we subtract this 2, we can get the answer x to the power 3. When the product, we add these two index in the answer quotient, we can subtract these two index. So, now we can obtain the law a to the power m divided by a to the power m. So, we can get the answer a to the power m minus m. Okay, now let's go to some example. Okay, now check your answers. First one, a to the power 5 divided by a to the power 3. Now according to the law, we can write a to the power 5 minus 3 then a to the power 2. Subtract 3 from 5. And second one, you can write y to the power, same base y, then we can write the base of the answer is y. This is multiplication. It's a product. So, we have to add these two index 5 plus 2 division. Division means subtraction. Then the answer equal y to the power 5 plus 2 7. 7 minus 3 4. Third one. We write it by this 8 x to the power 5 divided by 4 x to the power 2. Here you know we can cut 4 and 8. 4, 1, plus 2. I cut it by 4. Then 2 comes x to the power 5 divided by x to the power 2. Then the answer x to the power 5 Subtract 2 from 5. Use the answer x 2 2 x to the power 3. Okay, then fourth one. A to the power 2 
plus 3 add 3 to 3 to 2 divide by a to the power of 1 so you can write a 2 plus 3 minus 1 subtract 1 a to the power 5 subtract 1 In the fifth, two into x. All these are multiplications, so you can add these in x. Five plus three plus two. X to the power one and two. 2 x to the power 5 at 3 at 2 5 3 8 8 at 2 it gives the answer 10 and x to the power 3 2 x to the power 10 minus subtract 3 then the answer 2 x to the power 7 Okay. okay my dear children now i have finished indices with the product of powers with the same base and portion of powers with the same base from my next video you can watch zero index negative indices and power of powers if you like these videos subscribe it and click the bell button bye for now